This is 99 E300 turbo diesel, which we run biodiesel in it. And I have the intake off, so I wanted to show you the fuel lines, how they are affected by biodiesel. This is basically that 606 engine. I have an intake off, so it's coming from here to the intake. And that gives us nice and clear view of the fuel system. So the lines, here are the feed and return line. And they are feeding the high pressure system. Basically this is the, on the bottom, there is a transfer pump. Here is fuel heater on the block of the engine. This is the injection pump shut off valve. This is fuel filter. And these are all these lines which connects it somehow. Now biodiesel, you can see some chunks of stuff sitting here and I already had to cut ends of both feet line and the return line because they were completely melted by the biodiesel here you can see the cutoffs how it's melted it's still sticky from the biodiesel you can see it how, how terrible it is i wanted to replace it with the viton hoses which are made for biodiesel it's spelled v-i-t-o-n but then I realized that I can just cut the ends, the hoses are long enough. This side is not damaged at all. And inside the hoses looked really good. So I just cut off these ends, these ends which you saw. And now it seems to be really good. However, biodiesel attacks everything. It attacks paint, it attacks all the plastic around. So it's kind of pain in ass, but the main thing is the trying to save the world here on Maui, Hawaii biodiesel is made 100% of oil which will be otherwise throw, being thrown in the dump so it's a, it's a big thing here also that was the low pressure lines here is injection pump, high pressure um, lines the steel ones also don't forget with these vehicles the diesel engines vibrate a lot and here are the clips see that clip here it's already damaged this one is good the clips which are holding these lines from shaking and if the clips will be missing the, the lines can break so you see this one is gone so always make sure your, uh, your lines are uh, secured by these clips they are not missing of course I already uh, ordered these parts you can see it everywhere here needs to be held together and stopped from the shaking so that's how it looks the fuel system on engine which is called OM606 and this is 99 E300 turbo diesel hopefully it gives you something interesting to see okay aloha